Hello, um, welcome, um, my name's John, um, welcome to another vlog, um, how are you? I hope you're okay, um, this is going to be another part of my ongoing film series, um, because I've not done one for a while, and I'm about, I've been racking my brain over what I can do with them, um, there's loads of categories I can choose from, but it's a case of trying to find the actual films that I like within that subcategory. Um, and this one is going to be foreign language films. Um, I am a bit of a film buff, so you know it's no surprise that I like foreign films that aren't in English as well. Um, I like how other countries treat um, different subjects of films. I've actually got one recently. Um, an Indian film, not a Bollywood film, just a normal Indian film, and it's a zombie film, and it's uh, apparently the country's first ever zombie film, and it looks so weird, they treat the zombies completely different to how Western civilization treats it, because we, we go quite, um, quite gory with it, um, thanks to Romero's zombies, but, um, this Indian one, it, um, I, well it was because they'd not got the budget with them being uh, a poorer country or, or what, I don't know. But it didn't look as in your face undead. It looked more like they'd just been in a bit of a fight and got a bit bruised and so on. So, But apparently they're going to do more. Um, so hopefully they, they will get better as time goes on. Um, but yeah, anyway, back to my list. Um, number one is actually a film called Carl Nyack. I'm not sure if I've pronounced that right. It's a Bollywood film. It's, um, I think it's from, I can't remember. I think it's, I think it's early, early 90s, possibly late 80s. I, I can't remember. Um, I saw it one night on Channel 4 at some daft time, like 1 or 2 a.m. in the morning, because I was, um, at the time I was um, internet internet obsessed and I was only online like at night um, and I put Teddy on one night and it was there. This film stars a Bollywood actress called um, Madhuri Dixit. She is a Bollywood icon. Um, she does all sorts of stuff these days, but um, I don't think she actually stars in many films, as many films these days. She does quite a lot of publicity instead. Um, I can't remember the guy's name that off the top of my head. Um, but he's, he was quite a, a big star at the time as well. Um, and I'll say this was the first one, that Bollywood film that I ever saw, and it got me completely hooked. Um, it's got a very controversial song in it. I don't know what it's called in in Urdu or Hindi or whatever the language was. Um, but some of the lyrics go something like, um, "Do you know what's under my blouse?" And a lot of um, film critics criticise it because they took it as the literal sense of what's under my blouse as being a naked woman. I mean, in actual fact, the, the songwriter intended it to, on being the woman's heart, but um, it wasn't very clearly explained in the song, so it caused a lot of outrage because, you know, um, India are quite, not so much backwards, but they have very high, high morals when it comes to um, sexualisation of things, so, um, yeah. It, it was a bit of an outrage, and that got me hooked. Since then, I've watched um, literally hundreds and hundreds of Bollywood films. I've got quite a few. Um, you know, uh, I'm not into some of the modern stuff because I can't quite get into that. I um, I'm more into the stuff from the 90s. Anything after 2000, 2001, I'm not that sure about because it's it's all the up and coming stars which I can't quite get into. Um, but yeah, that's that. My second favourite film is Akira. Japanese film, well, Japanese cartoon, um, anime. As you know, uh, um, if you've seen some of my previous vlogs, I love anime. And this is the film and cartoon that got me into it all. Um, again, it was another film that I saw quite late at night. Um, 
I think it was on BBC Two, I think. Um, so um, it's, I say, it got me hooked on Japanese cartoons and anime and stuff like that. I'm not going to say too much about it because I, I have briefly talked about it in my anime vlog, and if you're not seen that, <coughs> oh, pardon me. Um, I suggest you go and, and take a look. You know, it's it's quite a lengthy vlog, so I apologise for that. Um, but it's it's probably the most famous anime film that there is. Um, that and Ghost in the Shell. Um, but Ghost in the Shell came later. Akira was like the first groundbreaking anime film that there was. Uh, it's just an awesome film. Um, and number three on my list, um, the last part that I'm going to do, is The Ring. The original Japanese The Ring. Not obviously the American, because that wouldn't be a foreign film. Um, well, certainly cool, because I'm English, not American. Um, so, yeah, but I actually mean the Japanese version. And I'm not going to say whether it's one or two that are at best. Um, there's um, a few of them. I've got them on DVD in a special edition pack with like a hologram of the, the scene that absolutely scares the living dead out of me and that is the TV scene where the ghost um, is coming towards you in the TV and then the next thing you know she comes out of the TV and I was like holy crap you know it's um it kind of made me um I mean, panic a bit because um, I've got like a 40 inch TV and that's usually big enough for a ghost to come through, you know. <laughs> so it's, um, it's a bit worrying. Um, I'll say it's, it's probably one of the first films that I saw that actually truly scared me. Um, Jap Japan and that area, Japan, China, Korea, um, that whole. Orient, oriental kind of thing. They know how to scare people. They know how to do good ghost stories. Um, they're very dark and moody. You never know what's going to happen next. Um, uh, so the ring got me hooked on Japanese horrors. Since then I've got stuff like um, The Grudge. You know, again, the, the Japanese version is way better than the really rubbish American remakes that they did. Um, then there's the Korean film um, Into the Mirror which again um, America did as Mirrors with um, Keith of Sutherland um, but they, they, they changed the story a bit and it was nowhere near as scary um, but the original the original Korean one um, was pretty pretty horrific and it's, it's scaring us but yeah, it's, um, The Ring has got me really into into Japanese songs. Um, uh, yeah, and that's all I want to say about that, you know. That's that's the vlog done. If you can, you know, leave a comment if you like. If, if you've seen any of the films, um, if you've seen any of the genres, and can recommend others that I might enjoy. Um, you know, um, leave, leave some feedback and I'll, I'll we'll get back to you um, to, to share my thoughts and views and um, that's all I really want to say you know, um, click like and subscribe if you want to see more of my stuff and I'll see you again in another video bye